Hello Bookworms, my name is Lindsay Mead and I'm going to be doing a mini-series, or not so mini-series, it's kind of a book haul slash shelf tour slash unboxing. And basically what it is, um, I'm, these are my moving boxes, right? You've seen my massive mountain of boxes in my spare room. I've taken almost all of the boxes out that contain books. I'm going to go through each one and show you the books. So you're going to get to see every single book that I own. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on each book. I'm just going to show them to you and maybe tell you a little bit about them. If there's signatures, I'll show you those. This is not going to replace my book hauls. I have at least a shelf and a half of books that I have been sent recently or that I've bought recently that are going to go in a book haul. I just haven't filmed it yet because I'm waiting on some others to arrive. I'm going to try and keep these videos short, but it really depends on the boxes. I'm going to do one one or two boxes per video. I'm also not going to post these videos all at once. I'm going to try and spread them out, maybe do one or two a week. So that way I'm not overwhelming you guys with a bunch of videos. All right, so that's really all I have to say about that. I hope you guys really like these videos and let's get to it. Okay, in the first box I have Tiger's Voyage, which I know was in a book haul that I did not that long ago. Um, it is signed. I'm trying really hard not to hurt the book. And um, this one, the I love that the, the inside is so pretty. And the newest one came out rather recently. I don't have that one yet. I really want it. But I swear every book that I need has come out at the same time. Outpost came out. I had the first one signed, so I need that. Hidden came out. I had the first two signs, so I need that. Now this one came out, and I'm like, I'm just, I I can't afford it. I can't keep up with all these books. And next is First Writer's Call by Kristen Britton. This is a great epic series, um, epic adult fantasy series that I think you guys should read. You'll definitely like it. If you're fans of Game of Thrones, um, that series, then this is one you'll want to look at. It's a great, great series. I am totally invested in this. And this is one of those series that, you know, you have to wait like three years or more for the next one to come out. And I'm so... <laughs> But it's totally worth it. It's a great, great series. And next is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. This is signed. Right there. I have only read this one. I haven't read these sequels. Um, I actually never finished this one. I only read part of it. And then it didn't, wasn't as action-packed as the Mortal Instruments series. But I'm going to give it a try again in another day. I'm just not in any hurry because she's got so many books coming out. So I figure I'll just take my time on it. But I am really behind because she's put out at least two books in both series, or at least one in each series that I have yet to buy to complete my collection. And then this one is City of Fallen Angels, also by Cassandra Clare, and this one is also signed. Personalized too, apparently. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> That's cool. That makes me feel special. And there's also a sticker on there I see that I never took off. I wonder if I should take it off. It says there's a letter in here. See? The letter came with I've actually read the letter, not in this one. I bought another copy for my sister and I read hers so that mine didn't have to be open. <laughs> okay, so first box done, completed. So we're moving on to box two. And I can't wait to see what's in this one, so let's go. First is Angel Fire by Courtney Allison Moulton. I have read this book. Um, I did enjoy it. I'm very excited about the sequel. I think it's going to be really good. And this one is also signed. Oh, right there. And I think it says, um, For Lindsay, never let the fire in your dreams die. I've actually met Courtney Moulton twice now, I think. Um, I've gone to both signings that she's had. She's a Michigan author, so I kind of have to go out and support. And I've met some great bloggers um, at these signings, too. People who come up to me approach me and stuff. So that's really awesome. And you guys can always do that. It's great. I love it. And this was in there, too, by the way. Okay, next is The Water Wars by Cameron Stratcher. I did not finish this book, not because it wasn't good, because I was really enjoying this book. I didn't finish it because I had borrowed a nook, and I was reading it on the nook from work, and then I had to return the nook, and I didn't want to read from this because it was so hard to get, I didn't want to ruin the pages. So I needed to get the nook again to finish it. So I'll probably um, start over from the beginning because it's been so long since I've done that. But I was really enjoying it. It's very action-packed, very unpredictable. It's not that big of a book, and I don't think there's a sequel. But I just love this cover. It's so, so pretty. They did such a great job. And there it's signed. I mean, I really had to hunt down this signature, too, because... Um, the author didn't really do a tour. And it came, I got it from, I think, the Poison Pen, which is a great site to get signed books from. They're kind of expensive. Um, but they always wrap their books in this special clear cover, and I just love that. Going above and beyond for the collector and the customer, and it's much appreciated. Okay, and next is Blood Rose by Andrea Kramer. I haven't read any of her books, but I do have them all, so you will see them in these videos. I don't have, what is it, Rift? 
that's next, uh, which that's another one that I need to get, but it came out at the same time every other book has come out, and I'm like, crap, I can't afford to get these books, and I need them, <laughs> so I can have this series. Um, this cover's not so bad. I hate the remake, as you guys know, of the first book and the second book, but this one's not too bad. It's almost like they tried to blend the two styles. So this one's kind of all right, but not as pretty as it would have been if they'd stuck to the original theme. I don't know what it says. We've discussed this before, and I don't remember what it says, but that's what she wrote. So she signed it. She, I love that her signatures, I can never figure out what they say. There's always at least one word that I can't quite figure it out. Okay, and right on cue, there's Wolfsbane by Andrew Kramer. And the signature right there. I have no doubt that I'm going to love these books. I have not heard anything bad about them. I've heard mixed things about the last book, but I'm still very excited about it. And then there's Blood Magic by Tessa Gretton. I have not read this one yet either. It's got a beautiful buttery cover. Um, and then the signature. Smiley face. Can you see it? Tessa smiley face. I love that. That's so cute. She has another book that just came out, and I was looking at it, and I couldn't figure out if it was a sequel to this or if this is a standalone novel. If anybody knows, please let me know. Okay, and then there's um, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith, and I have not read this book. I've heard wonderful things about it. I have seen the movie, and I really like the movie, and I recommend it. I really enjoy it. Um, I like this cover a lot. I love that they took his original photo, and then they changed it to put in the blood spat splatters, and then you flip it around on the back, and there's a zombie head. I'm like, that's just brilliant. I love that. And this is another one I got from the Poison Pen, and it comes with the, uh, the special wrapping to protect it. And there's his signature. I paid a hefty amount of money for this one so that I could get it. Don't mean to brag very much because I'm broke now, so... And then there's Crossed by Ali Condi. I'm very glad that I have this. This I don't have the newest one hasn't come out yet. So hey, I'm I'm doing good with this one. <laughs> This other one I haven't read, but I have a good feeling about it. It says, To Lindsay, best wishes in all your crossings, Allie Condi. And she dated it, which I think is kind of a nice little addition. These should be movies. It's funny to say that because I haven't read the book, so they, they might not be very good. But I just have a good feeling these would make a good movie. Just a good feeling. <laughs> and then there's Mesh by Allie Condi, which is also a sign. A lot of these boxes you're going to find, there's a lot of signed books. I tried to keep all the signed ones together. So you're going to... See an abundance, and then you're not going to see any at all. Great covers. Love the covers. I am so grateful to the publishers for keeping the theme that they originally picked. You know, stick to your guns, people. Find something good and stick to your guns, because it really pays off. Okay, second box down. I still have a mountain of boxes behind me. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments if you read these books, if you liked them, um, didn't like them, that sort of thing. Let's talk about it. And let me know if you like this video, because if you guys hate it, I don't want to keep posting them if you guys aren't going to watch them. So let me know. All right, thanks, and until next time, happy reading. do I say per video and I'm gonna post maybe one or two a week depending damn it Susie she only wants to play when I'm filming so then you hear all the snorting and growling in the background see <laughs> quit it <laughs> you crazy dog quit it she looks at me and she's got a big tuft of thread hanging out of her mouth from her toy charming. So that way, you know, I'm not... And I'll be okay. And I've got friends in low places with whiskey drowns and the bear chases my blues away. <laughs> and I'll be okay. <laughs>